This is my office, and I wanted to tell you the story behind this office space. It's obviously used for computer and a copying machine. Hopefully, it'll be used wisely. But it, at first, because I live in what they call a subdivision of the projects, it doesn't look like that from the inside. So what I did is I took little by little, I bought a cork board. I had the table. I took some shelves that were put up for me, decorated it, and then I was given that copying machine and I all I had to do is get the power cord and my truck was long story short of it it was um, sent to the um, salvage but I found my computer in there <laughs> and there it goes off <laughs> and I put a plant there of course you know for decorative purposes and then I got the shelf I had that um, put together by a friend of mine, and then I made this square, I don't know if you call it square, but it's a frame artwork. And I had the lamp here for a while, so. But I wanted to talk about DIYs because that, of course, that frame square artwork is a DIY. I don't really get into DIYs a lot, but I say this because sometimes it can be a lot of effort and work, but if you have projects around the house that you can do a DIY, you know, go ahead and get yourself a DIY because it is cheaper, but I want to show you around, like I have a lot of baskets, I looked up how to organize pillows in a basket, I looked like my mail <laughs> that goes to my mom. Um, and then I found that um, gnome at Dollar Tree. So I wanted to show you, I, I wish I had a before and after, but I don't. But the before after would really shock you what it looked like before it became an office space. Before, it was just a bunch of boxes and chairs, and it was really kind of, I don't know, everybody compliments me on the work I did to create this office space. So one last look at the office space. And I'm very proud of it. It's turned out to be really a work of art. <laughs> Thanks for watching.